what's up you guys, Marty Schwartz here. Now I've read a lot about Tonewood online and I think it's time to settle this hotly contested debate once and for all. For those guitar novices out there that don't know what I'm talking about, the Tonewood debate is concerned with how much the wood affects the tone of an electric guitar. There's some out there that think it makes a difference and others who believe it all comes down to the strings and electronics. This debate has raged on for years with guitarists on both sides of the issue, but I'm here to tell you neither side has it exactly right. Before we get to the meat of the argument, I think it's more important first to discuss how electric guitars actually work. Basically, there are six magnetized metal rods that correspond with each string on your guitar, and those rods are wrapped with an insulated copper wire. Every time you strum a string, it causes a disturbance in the magnetic force put off by those rods, which in turn causes the electrons in the wrapped copper wire to move back and forth. That electronic movement is what travels down your guitar cable and causes the speakers in your amp to move. Now, nowhere in that explanation did I mention the guitar body. The sound of your electric guitar comes simply from the strings vibrating over those magnetic rods. Don't believe me? Consider the very first electric guitar constructed by Les Paul. Les took parts of a telephone, slapped them on a piece of railroad track, and attached a neck with some strings. He later modified this design by putting those same electronics on a piece of 4x4 he called the log. The first time he played live with this instrument, it was literally a giant stick with a guitar neck attached. The audience was put off by it. Only then did he take the body of an acoustic guitar and attach it to either side of his log to make it look like a traditional guitar. You might be thinking electric guitar has come a long way since Paul's original design. Wood has definitely been a factor in the nuanced improvements luthiers have made over time, but that's not really true. First of all, the fundamentals of electric guitar are actually pretty similar to Les Paul's log, but beyond that, the pickups simply do not hear the resonance of the wood. They're really just picking up the vibrations of the strings and converting that to electrical energy, which is why you can make an electric guitar out of basically anything. I've seen acrylic, fiberglass, graphite, plastic, steel, aluminum, the list goes on. And many of these guitars sound pretty good. So, case closed. We can stop using wood to make guitars because it just doesn't matter, right? You know what I'm gonna say. It's not that simple. I mentioned before that the pickups don't pick up the wood resonance and that's still true. I didn't lie to you, but the way the energy of the string dissipates into the body does affect how the string vibrates. The energy from a guitar string bounces around the bridge and the nut and into the body and neck, which in turn affects how the sound from the string dissipates over time. Denser woods like maple or mahogany tend to resonate differently than a lighter wood like alder and basswood. So what does this all mean? In my view, you could say that the tone wood is just a small part of the story. Sure, it matters a little bit, but your electronics, pedals, type of amp, and most importantly, how you play affect the guitar tone before the type of wood. My friend Jack Pearson plays a $150 guitar and it sounds 10 times better than me playing a $2,000 guitar. I don't think Jack's worried about the tone wood. Electric guitar magic is like a good stew. There are a bunch of ingredients that make it delicious, like meat, peas, carrots, broth, and so on. To me, tone wood is like the freshly ground pepper. Does it make or break the stew? Certainly not. Does it give it a slight kick? Yeah, maybe. Like many great debates out there, there's no exact right answer. Ultimately, what's most important for you is to objectively listen to your instrument and decide what sounds best for you. That might be a top line Gibson product or something on the clearance rack at your local guitar shop. What type of wood is your guitar made of? Do you even know? Would you like to hear my opinions about any other big issues in music? Let me know in the comments section down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to Marty Music. Thanks again, we'll see you real soon.